So today we have an exciting multi-tool that just arrived recently from AliExpress and they're really pumping out some unique designs. Now, a lot of times they're just straight up clones. This one I think does harken back to one of the multi-tools you may be a little bit familiar with, but it has some very original features. So this is a no-name multi-tool. It's one of those where it's a multifunctional plier survival implement, tool implement, you know, EDC, they just throw a bunch of words together in the title. So I'll go ahead and link it. Now this does come in at four and a half inches or four and a quarter inches, I think it is closed. And then that translates to about 11 centimeters long. Now, as far as ounces, it comes in 9.2 ounces. It is a little bit heavy. A lot of these tools are a little bit heavy. It helps them, I think, be a little bit more durable. And then it does come in, for those of you not in the United States, 260.8 grams. So that's what it is. It does come in around $18. I think sometimes it can be a little cheaper, sometimes a little bit more expensive, depending on where you live. Now, as far as the outside, I'm not sure how good this will focus, but we almost have this like textured grip, which I think is pretty cool. So that is neat right there. And then you have almost more of a satin finish at the top. And then the pocket clip is a little bit different right there. So I think they are trying some new things. And then again on the bottom, there you go. So this one right here, the knife opens up and it locks. And then if we flip it to this side, the saw opens up and it locks. So those are the only two locking tools on the multi-tool. So when we open it up, again, we've got these curved handles. It does make it sort of naturally fit in your hand. So it's not awful, not extremely used to those, but it's not too bad. And then you do have these wire cutters. Now these wire cutters, again, are the kind where they have the indent for the hard wire cutter. And then they have the straight wire cutter right there, replaceable wire cutters. It looks like they might be the same as Nextool, maybe Roxon or some of Roxon's. A lot of these are interchangeable, but I'm not for sure. I haven't tried it yet. These are spring-loaded pliers. Now, I did want to mention that one of the things that was a little bit odd is it did look like it wasn't completely polished, mine right here. And so it almost looks like as part of the casting still on it. So keep that in mind. These are sub $20 multi-tools, so they are not extremely elegant. But I do like the looks. And again, that's really cool. The handles, pretty unique right there. All right. So... Now, when it comes to interior tools, not a fan. Just say that up front. It's got this file right here. I guess maybe a little aggressive. It doesn't look that good. <laughs> I, that's probably charitably speaking. Now, this I think could be useful for opening packages. I have found some of these multi-tool cutting hooks very useful for opening clamshell. You know, some of these very thin like Lego plastic packaging for my kids. So that can be useful right there. And then this one right here, there's the all, and it does have the eyelet right there. But again, not locking, probably not a huge issue, but just so you know. Then on this side, we do have the bottle cap lifter and the larger screwdriver. And then we have the small Phillips screwdriver. Now this small Phillips screwdriver, I don't feel like is fantastic. It's probably not the worst I've ever seen. Now these tools aren't bright and shiny like some very, very, very cheap ones. They seem a little bit better than that, but they're definitely not as good as like the Day of Camping, Byberry, uh, Wave, and uh, Surge clones. So keep that in mind. Now, so when it comes to where did this design come from? Well, take a look at this. So I think this might give you a little bit idea. At first I thought, well, maybe it's from the Crucial, the Gerber Crucial, because when you open that up, you know, again, you have a lot of those same rounded edges, but it's a little bit different. But then when we look at the Gerber Steady, this one right here looks very similar, very similar indeed. Now there's definitely some changes. So I don't know if one of Gerber's engineers engineered this and it was never made. And then they decide to come out with the design. But even let's see if no, the the uh, pliers don't look exactly the same. 
They do look perhaps a little bit more like the Crucial, but they're not the same. So I did want to mention just like this has the knife on the outside edge. This has the knife on the outside edge. But again, this is a camera multi-tool right here, the Steady. So this one had, uh, there we go. It had legs that flipped out and then you could use that. And then it had this, what they call this, the gimbal or whatever. Anyway, they had this for the, uh, for the camera to fit on. So sort of a cool design, but never really went anywhere that much for Gerber, but very unique. So this almost looks like that same design, just with a lot more tools that people would actually use. So not necessarily a bad thing, but very unique. I uh, was, this is a little loose here. So again, the finishing isn't quite perfect, but again, I do like the accents right here. You've got the light silver and then the darker silver. So pretty good. So again, there it is for about 17, $18. Not too bad. I definitely think this is a beginner multi-tool, but it is still sort of cool. All right, so you, this is the box that comes with it. Really nothing much there. It just gives some pictures that describe it doesn't even have it really a name unless you call it satisfaction guaranteed a name right there and then it does come with a very generic huge pouch so i don't know why they even bothered but there's a pouch where it just sort of swims inside so for some of you maybe you'll like it but it's very very generic all right that's the tool